Hello guys again, just going to run, quickly run through the three different methods of how you can set your bump key up. Because there's three different methods can be set up for each cylinder, it is always best when you buy a bump key to make copies from it. Don't use the original bump key to alter. Yeah. So if you keep the original one nice and clean, you can make all these three different setups off that one original key. The first setting we're going to do is where the bump key, that's how you buy it with the shoulder on and this is where you just pull it out one notch and hit it in. The other day I did an ever one and they said ever ones really work very well with this pull out one notch. Third time, fourth time lucky. There we are. That's the ever one so you don't do any operation to the bump key just leave the shoulder on and pull it out one notch. The second option you can do is literally take a few mil off the shoulder and a few mil off the tip. So when the key goes in, it will spring. So that you can see that it's, it's popping in and out. There you go. So it's, as the spring pressure is pushing onto the key, it pushes it out that few mil off the, off the shoulder. And again, this one, all you do still bumps it that way. So that's the second option. And the third option is where you remove all the shoulder and then obviously fit your dampeners. To work out your dampeners all you really need to do is hold it against the lock and just see where the dampeners are pushing in to line up against the pins. So this one's with dampeners and again just show you it works. There we are. That's the third option. So hopefully that explains it a little bit more on how you can set these bump keys up to open certain locks. Many thanks guys.